What is going on guys? Uh, welcome back to the blogs. I know I haven't updated in a while, but uh, today we are going to be working on the car. We're going to be driving the car today um, and we're going to be picking up the, uh, the roll cage. Um, and I haven't really done a whole lot since it's been really cold here in Illinois. Um, right now it's actually still, I don't know, like 9 degrees right now. Last week was uh, like the coldest day in Chicago. It was like negative 57 wind chill. But um, as far as the update on the car, um, we picked up some wheels. I got some uh, fifth and inch, uh, just kind of like street tires set up, uh, skinnies and slicks, and we got some spares and whatnot. Um, as far as the motor, everything is the same. Um, the the up pipe is getting coated right now. So we are going to uh, borrow my buddy's uh, up pipe so that we could drive the car today. So we're gonna go ahead and pick that up in Skokie. Um, and then the, the front tires, those are I believe 215, 60, 15. So they're about the same size as the 24 and a half slicks when we go to the track and it's just like plug and play. Um, but yeah, so right now we're going to Skokie and um, we're gonna go pick up the up pipe then go head out to um to Rhodes and Crete, Illinois, which is like an hour and a half, so um yeah. No, no. So we got the up white and again thanks to my buddy Mike for always coming through at the last minute. The guy says uh speaking of Mike, he's he's uh calling right now. What's up Mike? Um I went to the front and I got it. Oh, okay. And and by the way, Mike, I'm making a blog right now, so you're like you're like in the video. So Oh that's cool. So you got no worries, so you got it open and you got the V band and the V band clamp. Um, just, um, be easy with it because it's seen some hard days. No, I know. I got a brand new one. I'll give you another one when I get home. I'll replace it for you. Oh, that'd be sick. Yeah, I got you, B. For sure. That'd be cool. I mean, I registered, so we'll just, we'll just wait, uh, to see what they say and, uh, hopefully we get approved. It should, yeah. it should be okay. I want to register Tino later and then I'll, I'll contact the guy. One eternity later. Awesome. Thanks, man. I'm gonna go head out to uh, the roads right now in Crete, Illinois. It's about an hour, so I'm gonna drive down there, drive back, and then put the you know the exhaust to the car, and drive to Jamie's and get uh, get the cage welded over the weekend. That'd be awesome. And get ready for the world of wheels. Yes, sir. You should be ready by then for sure. So we finally got out of traffic. We were probably stuck there for about, I don't know, 30 minutes. And we still have at least half an hour to go um, to Crete, Illinois. And I just noticed that Cleetus just posted a video update of Ruby, that Corvette, on YouTube. So I was pretty stoked about that. And um, I don't recommend you guys do what I do right now, but I had to see this video. So, um, hell yeah, brother. Oh yeah, brother. Yes. I am. <laughs> I'm really, really, really. So we just made it here at Rhodes. So let's go check out the cage. So we just picked up the cage and it's uh, loaded up in the back now. I'll show you some more of that later when we get to the shop. Uh, right now, kind of stuck in traffic. So um, at uh, Boosted Boys just posted a video on YouTube and definitely kept them busy. So um, I'm glad Cletus and them posted the video because. Uh, these guys are pretty cool, man. Brent, Kyle. I get to catch up with them. World Cup, Honda Day a few times. It's always What's a good time, going man. On, guys? Today is Dino Day for right on. So I decided to take a little detour since I have a little bit of time to spare. So let's go ahead and look at the cage. Um, it's the whole 10 point. Uh, you got the hoop here. I got some extra bars, so um, just in case we decide to add, um, you know, extra uh, points somewhere um, that we have it. We got extra plates and all that. So um, we are actually here at Boosty Built, 
So let's go ahead and say hi to the boys. Hopefully he's here. If you guys probably remember this car, um, we were at World Cup with this car. It's the 12 one horsepower. Okay, serious. John. Where you at? So we got some pretty cool projects going on here. Some DSM action. What What's going on, Kaz? What's going on, brother? What's going on, brother? Helping my dad with the slow. Put this on slow. How you on the bus? How are you, buddy? So let's check out this ride here. This is a uh, our right, Sona shell. We just uh, we actually um, we don't have the hatch anymore. We transferred everything to this coupe. Um, so this is a uh, all-wheel drive setup this time. We have fabricated our own bracket right here where the diff is. Um, and then we have uh, the brackets. We made our own um, bracket in there. We had to modify the trailing arms from the wagon. Um, and this is the same cage that uh, I got for the car. This is a Rhodes cage, um, 10 point. So this car, we just got it running actually. Um, this car ran, I think, 880 last two years ago at World Cup. Um, so the setup is still the same. We actually went to Garrett from, it had a 7285 precision, and now it has a GT, GT45 um, Garrett. So let me see if we could get this running for us. All right, so uh, we just made it back in the garage, and here is the cage. It's actually mild steel. Um, so if you guys are looking for like a decent cage for you know a budget, um, you could check out Rhodes Race Cars online, and then they could sell you whatever cage you need for whatever application. Uh, and this specific one, obviously, is for my hatch. Um, this is a, uh, I believe it was like 320, um, 325 or something like that with tax and everything picked up. So uh, for $300, I could not complain with this cage. Um, a lot of our cars, a lot of our, uh, you know, like drag cars, we use Rhodes cage. If you guys, uh, you know, have bother budget or whatever, you got the money, you know, by all means, get the Wheatfield one. But uh, for $300, you can't beat this one. Right now, I'm trying to uh, get the uh, up pipe bolt in there and I'm hoping that it would be the right sorry uh, it would be the right angle to go through the uh, hood exit so let's go ahead and try that one and uh, see what happens oh come on bro really damn this is really gay all right so um we kind of ran into a little situation here the up pipe from Mike is actually a lot smaller um, for what I need from Mike because this is a big hot side this is like a 105 no 10 hot side um, supposedly they're about 66 millimeter but for some reason this doesn't have anything to connect to there so um, what I'm gonna have to do since I can't drive the car is to um, drive to my shop uh, my buddy Jamie's shop and then um, unload the trailer get everything out of the trailer 
come back and bring the trailer here and then get everything get the car into the trailer so we had to do all that tonight and then at least we could at least work on the car tonight um, and then get back at it tomorrow so uh, I got a lot of shit to do so let's go ahead and do that so uh, we just got the trailer right there um, I haven't started this car in like probably two months so I don't know if it's actually gonna start but I guess we'll see um, fuel pumps good we have power so we're gonna try to um, build oil pressure real quick let's see gauges there you go so now it's building uh, I don't know, 20, oil, 20 PSI oil pressure. So that's good. Turn the pump on. I think the trunk soap is like gonna close that real quick. The fuel pump's really loud on this car, man. You gotta let it warm up just a little bit. Tear up on the car. I got all the interior out. I'm gonna start uh, to grind all the plates um, and then the, you know the uh, the coating and the, the undercoating on the bottom because sometimes you try to weld the undercoating is trying to catch on fire. So um, taking a little break, pizza break, French fries, um, and I'm sure you guys probably remember this car. We went to World Cup with this car. It was on 870 and on the old setup, and the new setup is uh, kind of the same, same turbo. 
different manifold, different intake, eight injectors. So we got um, we got a billet now, intake. So uh, last time we cracked the intake, so that's not that's not gonna happen anymore in this one. So um, this one should be back by World Cup at least. Hopefully we get like 850, 840 on the next pass. Uh, but yeah, um, 820s. No, he wants 820s on this car. But no, um, we had to put in the trailer because the up pipe that I picked up uh, didn't fit, obviously. Um, so put in the trailer, drove it here. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go back to work. So we're gonna call it a night. I actually gotta go to work right now, I'm already late. And uh, basically just prepped everything, kind of cleaned up the surface here uh, where it needs to be bolted. Um, it's pretty dirty work really. Uh, get it all cleaned up. All the mounting points, we're probably gonna make it a 12 point instead of a 10 point because we got extra bars in plate. And then we're gonna put a crush bar in the middle here. Um, and then uh, that way we could go ahead and attach the parachute mounting points as well. But uh, we've done a lot for tonight, so we're gonna get back at it tomorrow in the morning when I get off work. Um, and then hopefully we could at least weld a couple points and figure it out what we're gonna do in the front here. But uh, yeah. So we just made it back here at work. Um, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end the video here. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and finish up with the welding, probably uh, work on the prep, um, and probably paint it Sunday. Um, so yeah, just uh, make sure you click subscribe and share the button. Then um, yeah, I'll update you guys tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. And peace out.